Thursday shop talk, everybody. I had a, a better day. I was on the shady side. It was still humid. I was sweating bullets. I went through three clothes, but nothing like yesterday. I stayed hydrated. And what was cool is I was, I, it was like 12, 15, 12, 20. Uh, I heard the thunder and I started cleaning up real quick and it rained, it rained pretty good. And uh, I had everything cleaned up and I got a lot done. The main thing I got done with was I spent about an hour I could have gone further on what I was doing. I spent about an hour. I did a belly crawl, checking out everything I'm gonna to need to repair underneath the house. And I felt really good about what I'm seeing. It's not gonna to be too bad. So I just keep on going, that's about work. So I am carrying, uh, this seems to be a very popular knife right now. I'm carrying the DeWalt Tonto $15 knife. That's right. So. I, I'm using the heck out of it. In fact, when I was underneath the house in the sand, I'm gonna oil that up. I hosed out the sand. Uh, I was pulling down uh, some clear plastic that was stapled up underneath, you know, and uh, that causes some moisture. I, I got it all down. I got a huge pile of that. I gotta start cutting all that up. Yeah, that's my $15 knife, okay? And I carried my, I, I used the heck out of my Seal FX. But after I changed clothes, cleaned up a little bit, I started carrying the pillar blackout. I'm thinking about throwing this, I haven't thrown it in a while. Now I modified the sheath that comes with a tech lock, but this is the blackout, my Carta scales. S35E is steel, black finish, Cerakote finish, USA made. I believe somebody jumped in there. I forgot if it was Midway USA or I forget who it is, $99, okay? This blackout is $99. I paid, when it was released, that week I bought it, I paid $250. It's worth $250. If you could pick this up, $99 blackout, man, I would do it. And that texture, see, that's all done by the, uh, the makers. I didn't do that. I'm learning that something like that so subtle is all I need. And I've had this a while and I've used the heck out of it. Awesome knife. That's the Sog Pillar Blackout. I'll probably do a short just so I can uh, send somebody out that way where it's $99. I'd pick this up. $99, a $250 knife. Yes, sir. I'd grab it. Okay. So, what I got today, I'm going to show y'all something. This is that M48. Uh... M48 Tactical Military Combo Commando by United Cutlery. All state steel, black finish, double saw back. Look at that checkered hard ABS uh, handle. Metal guards. It's sharp as can be. The uh, M48 and the logo is etched in on the blade. It's also on the sheath right here. I got it off eBay. It's budget friendly, but they have the series, man, that uh, you can go on Amazon right now. I've got several uh, M48s. I just pulled this one out. This is that Cyclone. Look at that back end persuader. Let me tell you something. And this thing is just plain wicked. It's United Cutlery and uh, really nice sheath. And uh, it's one of those that I have in my house where I can get to it quickly. It's self-defense. I mean, look at it. What are you going to do with this? Why would you carry that on your belt? Okay. And I sure would hate to get stopped. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. You can get it on Amazon right now, you guys. That's the uh, M48 Cyclone. I think they make different sizes. They have also a limited edition. But I got, this is probably, this is one, this is when they first came out. I got this way back. And I've had it ever since. I show it every once in a while. So this thing right here, I'm so happy and pleased with it. Now, here's the thing. The SOG. Man, GSM, I tell you what, that's a sneaky one. This is the SOG HQ Pinnacle Buoy. Okay. Now, 
that sock sheath, remember I put the straps on it? I'm gonna do the same thing on this, but look at here. Can you believe that? The exact same sheath. Now, United Cutley right here has better quality paracord, right here, paracord. And uh, I, I just can't believe it. it's the exact same thing exact same thing except for the logo right there check it out exact same thing exactly now look at the difference here okay this is double saw back I never noticed it before okay it doesn't have the double swedge at the top it does have the double saw back this is 420 steel and a rubber handle this is United Cutlery snagged on to something right here. Sorry about this. This is United Cutlery. Hard ABS handle, metal guards, everything's metal. And look at that. I got a double swedge right here. It looks to me, let me tell you, United Cutlery was first way back. This was just released and it looks like uh, trying to uh, copy but it didn't happen this is uh definitely budget i can feel it and i'm still dying to use it for you guys out there chopping i have uh i need to throw it too i am going to throw it since i got this one this is awesome y'all see that it's just uh it's amazing i love that double swedge this is a serious serious buoy knife uh exact same sheath you can interchange them i, I was just shocked and tell you the truth, when I saw this on eBay, when I saw the sheath, this is why I got it, to, to uh, see what the comparison was when I, when I saw the metals and everything. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, and then what else I got here? Oh, I brought out, I was just going to do some kind of lanyard thing on it. I'm still pleased with this. This is that BPS knife that I did the scales on this last weekend. Look at that. I'm going to put that up in my uh, custom scales display case. But look at the pattern of that. See the hump I did? I didn't go all crazy on the treading because on this one I didn't need it. Just a beautiful Puko knife. That's what this is. Yep, the, uh, what was it, Thin Light. This is the fin light from BPS. Love the sheath. And I was just going to do like a little lanyard thing here. I have no clips on it. You can put a clip here. And uh, I don't have one. Or oh, I do have one. Just I'm not sure if I'm going to put one on. We'll see. Uh, front pocket carry. And then I want to do a little lanyard here so you could pull it out. But I tell you what, it's really going into this way, guys. And then I take it, I take it around town on weekends when I wear my saw grunt stuff and going and buying local. You know, like, it's kind of like a show and tell. Good conversation piece. Absolutely love it. Okay, guys. Uh, again, thank you guys for your concern yesterday. It was all on me. It was really stupid. Uh, and then I was getting irritated with, uh, you know, I'm trying to uh, show budget-friendly knives. And uh, it's just, it's not... People just don't understand what I'm trying to do. Uh, I can take, you know, my Buck 112 Ranger. It's got the canvas micarta, and I use it all the time, but, you know, I'm getting paint everywhere, and it will wash off. It will wash off the micarta. Or I could pull out, you know, a couple of $250, $300 folders, but why? You know, I'm here at home, and, uh, this is rely, you know, somebody said it's something that you can rely on. I'm not, it's not like I've gone to work. Okay, when I was working, I just retired. I was carrying my high end, yep, folders. Yep, my $250 folders, because I knew I was there and it would hold up on the beach, in the sand, the salt water, mud, and everything. But here, and I'm just showing, and I do, I did help a couple of guys that are jumping on it, and you should. You should. 15 bucks come on man instead of going to burger king 
spend 15 bucks or McDonald's, go up to Home Depot and get you a $15 Tonto. Somebody said they didn't like it because of serrations. Well, they got a clip point too, I believe. Okay, and y'all know I love serrations. I gotta have them, and that's just the way it is. Okay, that's my shop talk. Uh, hopefully I can throw real quick. It's kind of sprinkling. Uh, I'm gonna do a short video on, uh, we'll see how that goes on my M48. And I'll do a short video on the pillar. And I got a special up close and personal I'm gonna do. Yep, we'll do that. Okay, y'all take care and sog out.